Hello guys, Jäger here, welcome to another video, today we are playing Zoe. As always, I have posted the builds and runes at the start of the video, so if you actually accidentally skipped it, then be sure to check those out. If you are wondering why I am running Dark Harvest instead of Electrocute, it's because I believe this is way more reliable on Zoe. It's really easy to proc and it scales extremely well. Now how do you play the laning phase? You can spam your Q at the custom minions in order to show faster and get lane priority. Normally you want a max range Q to hit both um, custom minions twice. Like this here. It allows you to push super, super fast and then you can invade the enemy jungler to gain vision. Or just to for, figure out where he is. You can even help your jungler if you get to... Uh, Skirmish at the river. Really wanted that Dark Harvest prop, but use this pot, so I had to poke him a bit more. So we are playing against the Nocturne, who is really good at ganking, so we don't want to push too much when we don't have vision yet, so i gonna let him shove for a bit and then we last it. That is blue smite, okay. That is not too bad. We can use the blue smite to slow him and then get a easier hit on our E. For a gang, I have my smite up. Right. Luckily we got the uh, blue smite and we have his flash now, so if Nocturne comes we don't have to waste our own flash. Push this as fast as possible and then we'll go. Right, this is actually really good on Zoe. Be yeah, active at least. Getting shoved in. Top lane is winning, it seems. Gonna buy the components. Oh, it's really important to have boots and Zoe early on. She is super immobile, so if you get ganked, you most likely end up using your flash, right? So be sure to rush boots when whenever possible. I will be upgrading my boots right after I get lost chapter. Summoners on this guy. Wow, oh, he dodged it. Right, that's how easy it is. Got two Dark Harvest procs already. Get some vision around here. Oh, that's a ward. We're not gonna clear it just yet, because we want to push first. We don't want to lose momentum. He doesn't have TP right, so we want to show in as fast as possible, so he's gonna lose more CS. Is that the show? Now we can get TP. Then we'll base. We can get our lost chapter now, which is a really good laning component for mages. As you get some extra mana, cooldown reduction, and mana regen when you level up also. I'm gonna bring another control ward just in case if that jungler or Vega tries to remove this one. So as Nocturne gets level 6 we have to be 
very careful because he has an easy way to close the distance and we are immobile. I'm gonna pop my ghost here. And let him clear this one. Wow, okay. That's actually pretty unfortunate. Okay, that's good. That's worth it. I'll take that. Can't really buy anything useful. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, just for the components for Oblivion Orb. I can't get anything else that's quite useful, so... This will have to do for now. He actually did more damage than I expected, Vagar, so... That's kind of unfortunate. And the wave is slow pushing towards him, so we want to shove this as fast as possible. If we don't show it, he will get a huge way around here that he will get to farm. One more of those and we can kill him. Nocturne is probably 6 right now, or close to at least. Got the Dark Harvest Pro. And all those right now? We don't have flash up, so he hits us we are likely dead unless car 6 comes. If I got an auto take off, he would have been dead. And here, we use our Q on the caster creeps just to one shot him. Take night. I like that one. Actually, Nocturne using his ult topside is really good for us. Now we have more time to play aggressive. I'm gonna get the turret plating here. Does he need help? I have flash up. I'm gonna place it here because if I place it right now again here, he's just gonna come back to clear it. What side? Oh, he's doing Drake. I had to use my flash, it was running out soon. See what we get here. Anything useful? Like this one. Our Dark Harvest range. Oh, he got the Drake. That one can actually help him out a lot. Nocturne is coming mid again now. Ult. Jesus. Already got it back up. There's really no counter counterplay to knock gold as so you have to play really far back when it's up. Uh, see what can we buy here. 
probably going for this. It's some HP regen. Get a hook? Ooh, unfortunately. Top lane is nice. Thought of going even in CS almost. Young is winning. First that. Really want to be careful that he doesn't use ult on me. Smith again. Hello, bro. Oh, we should have killed him. Two versus one. Probably here if he's going for it. I think he flashed over, probably, yeah. I was wondering how he disappears suddenly. I'm not gonna get the loot on Seiko now, I want some mobility first. It's really important so you guys, she's immobile, so you want as much movement speed as possible. The thing is, when you play against Zoe, you definitely need cleanse, if you don't have that, you are such an easy target to gank, so I could pick my jungler to come and then pick up some free kills. Nocturne's all this up now, I know, so I can't overextend too much. I also have a ping ward here. Just so I can hide here whenever I shove the wave. Probably need a Sonya's Hourglass as well, just for Nocturne. And Vega Salt. That is an interesting room. Already starting to run mid though. The thing is, even if you don't kill somebody, um, you still get something out of Dark Harvest, right? It's not the same with uh, Electrocute. So even if you just get to poke them, you get some stacks on the Dark Harvest and scale better late game. Right, we got a loot and Sekai. There's a Drake coming up. some HP. One will swap to the far side alteration so we can see people shout out people and see if they're camping in bushes or get vision on the objectives without having to walk in melee range. Thing is for Zoe you do not want to go to the side lane guys especially not against the Nocturne that can easily put you down no matter how far you're ahead. So when you have a Luden Seiko, Morel Nomicon, and Sog, Bu Sog Boots, that's when Zoe has her big power spike. That's when you want to group up with your team and look for fights.
think you should be able to get him now. Got a heal? Oh. Alright. Wasted his health. Oh, he's trying to kill a Raptor Camp. Somebody should pick up that farm on the side waves though. Because if we group up all the time, then we will be losing out on CS and XP on the side lanes. Just start a range. That was actually pretty cool. He hooked them into my bubble. Get the turret? No, okay. They do not want to step up when they have. None of them are dying, bro. That is quite unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Got a flash. Nice. I actually need to base right now, I have so much gold. Alright, let's base. Let's see, they have armor. Pretty much it. They have quite this squishy team. What I could do here is I could get a... I can't afford it yet though. I'm gonna get this one, just for the safety because the only way I can die right now is if Nocturne knows me. There's no one. He might have lost vision of somebody before, right after he ulted. Flash on Vagar. Okto, she's like 1 HP bro, that is so unlucky. Guy's not defending top. What are, they, what are they doing? Get him! Get him! Not lose the turret for it. Get the Baron. Totally get that Baron. Okay. He has so much tenacity. Really hard to slow down. Alright, let's get this one. Do this one, guy. Let's go. Wait, Wayne, where are you going? Don't no dumb down, guys. This is not... That is a straight out one shot. <laughs> That is the power of Dark Harvest combined with Soy.
Oh, I could have died there if he ulted me while he hooked. Hug is up soon. You should get this one. Oh, the Raptor cam, bro. We need this one. I have flash in case Nocturne decides to hold me. I'm gonna pick up that side player as well. It seems like Wayne doesn't want it. That lane. I can imagine they're going to fight now and get caught. To ping them, I have a lot of gold. Like this, I want actually, I want more AP. Got potential, then I sell my potion for another control ward. Nocturne has this one, means if he does get within range and get his fear off, then I'm dead. So I had to position probably in team fights. Just one Q can put Jenna down. Probably Vagar as well. Lucian is a bit tanky though because he has the uh, cleaver. Nice, good job. Peter. Oh wow, that hit. Got a barrier. It's not the most useful one, but it is fine. Should really go Baron. Let's get it. Let's get the Baron. Team doesn't want to for some reason. Nocturne might be looking to hold me soon. It's probably coming coming up. And I should be dead. Okay. But that is how you play against Zoe. Down as well. we could easily have done Baron and ended the game probably. Just to refresh the timer. Can't do that bro, I am way too fit. Do that. Uh, Nocturne is up, he might be looking to ult me. I do not want to be within range. Out of range? Alright, nice, we dodged it. Okay, that, that is. I don't think I received a blue buff yet, but that is extremely OP on Zoe when you are seating as a team. You can constantly spam Q and R and just poke people like Jenna and Vagar. I can probably one shot with one Q. I'm gonna check here if they're camping. Exhaust, that's actually pretty fine. I think he wins easily. Another free Baron when we kill him. 
team doesn't want to, so I should probably just hit mid. Remember, you can get two procs of your passive on your Q, so be sure to maximize this, maximize your damage when trading and taking down objectives. When you're bursting, you don't want to do that, obviously, because you want to one-shot them with one combo. I baited out his Q first. It's way too fast, bro. I'm gonna go top now. No why, but my team for some reason refuses to take Baron. Strange. I guess they don't want to end it just yet. Get the objectives then. We got top side. I can buy my rare balance right now. One Q, auto, another Q, auto. That's two free procs. That's how you take down objectives extremely fast. Oh, this one on. Get my rare balance. I have so much gold. Don't need now. Garen is spying MR, but it's not really. We don't need white stuff just yet. Because he will not be our main target. He will be tanky for us either way, even if he didn't have MR. Our ta uh, targets are the other four players. I'm gonna take the blue buff if my jungler lets me. And then I'll start one shotting people. Help me. Oh wow, I'm slowed. Well, that is the uh, dust blade passive. I was wondering why I was slowed so much. All right, easy. Vegas, like, he's really far behind, but he is extremely strong with just two items. Because of his passive, so he has, like, endless AP stacking. Now I do not have Flash anymore, but I have Masonias. Last item, we would probably go for a... Void stuff, if any of the other guys are buying MR, else we will just get more damage. Which could be a Lich Bane, that's also extremely good on Zoe, because of a passive. We could also just get a Banshee's Whale, guys. It's also really good. And let's get this top turret. Wayne is split pushing bot, so that probably means that Nocturne will try to uh, ult. Probably ulting bot right now. Yeah, he is. He can win. Who knows? Did win. So done, so. Blue buff coming up soon.
You also want to be creative on so creative on Zoe when you try to land those bubbles, cause hit on people can dodge it easily, but if you use the walls to your advantage, then it's much easier to surprise your opponents and get a free hit. And defend this one. Oops, that, that is not too bad. Boom. We have 27 stacks on Dark Harvest. Very much damage. We already had 2.6k damage. And it's only getting better. That's why I like Dark Harvest, guys. It scales so good. And it's the most reliable keystone you can take on Zoe. That Black Leo actually saved, saved him. Him service up. Black Blitzcrank is going for it. Get here. I can made, made it. Get out, don't don't attack him. No, I lost vision. If I got that auto tag off, that would have been so good. <laughs> I was hoping I would get vision when I got into the bush, but I didn't jump far enough. I think they're getting, yeah, they're getting Baron. Probably, yeah, I'm gonna go for the, oh, they have. This is probably the best counter to Zoe. This and cleanse makes it much harder for me to do anything at all. Zoe does fall off a bit in the late game, but since we have Dark Harvest, we can still do really well and one shot people, even though they have this one. I believe the new Swain also has some sort of endless scaling on his passive, the soul fragments. Oh, Nocturne used to souls. Need this one. I don't need for white stuff. Yeah, oh, they got it. Flash down on Nocturne. We need, we ju we need just one fight. In this? Oh, they don't have any follow up damage. Okay, mid. Really had mid. Nice. Bang. Jesus. Aaron's so annoying to deal with. Well, we're probably losing this turret. Yeah, we are. Might lose the inhibitor as well. Thing is, Garen should be easy for a win, but playing really weird this game.
above his gun, guys. I have the Baron recall, so we can't do much. Thirty-one stacks on our dark harvest. If we get a max range cube, we can one-shot most. End now, please. Oh, nice! You got bigger as well. Should be able to end. Let's end this game. Let's do it. Well done, Car Six. Tony Garen alive, can he do much? I doubt it. Thank Toy. We have a Wayne, so he's super easy to kill no matter what he builds. He's so squishy. Hey guys, that was my story game for today. I hope you did learn something and if you enjoyed it then don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button and see you guys next time.